Hi everyone. I'm Todd. It's uh, New Year's Day 2020. I'm out here at the uh, Trona Pinnacles. Been out here for 12 days now. Hey everyone. It's uh, sunrise at Trona Pinnacles. This is a beautiful place. Just, just look at this view. Camping out uh, with our Expedition 2.0 by off grid trailers. Uh, bought that thing about six months ago, and yeah, it's awesome. I love the trailer. Uh, great buying experience. Just uh, ordered it online, a few emails, and, and a little bit of cash later. And two months, three months, I have my trailer. And uh, this is our third trip. And like I said, we've been out here 12 days. It's been cold at night. We've been running that uh, furnace every night, and that's been great. Uh, but I wanted to do a little walk around of it and show it off a little bit. So let's head down there uh, and have a closer look. So, uh, there's an awesome little plant right here, look at this. Got some berries, I don't know if they're edible or not. I'm not going to try them. We had some rains, a couple of days of rain, pretty cold, and uh, it was nice having a heater going in the in the trailer. That's been a killer thing. Definitely buy the pro packs for this. You know, I've done some upgrades to it. I think uh, you'll see I put some uh, solar panels on it because uh, I wanted to do a lot with the, with the solar and so yeah there's the uh, Solar panels I put on top, 400 watts, and the, uh, the Zamp solar panel that I got with the trailer, they've been working pretty well. There's the rear storage, I, I uh, found these Zarges containers, they've been working out pretty cool. I've, Pack two weeks worth of food in there, no problem. Little toaster oven, I put up above them. Uh, we cooked, baked some squash, freshly baked acorn squash. And baked potatoes one day and and potatoes. And yesterday we made some cookies. Alright, check it out everyone. Freshly baked cookies. Mm. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Side. Refrigerator's been great. Kitchen area. I would say one knock is the stove. I think this was a it's a nice stove, I like it, but uh 
Maybe it's intended for indoors, like in a van or a RV. It gets windy, it, it suffers a little, it struggles a little bit. So I think uh, it's an outdoor kitchen. I think maybe a, a, you know, a, a purpose-built outdoor stove would be probably a little bit better there. But it works. It's been great, nice and warm and cozy in there. That ain't not for a TV or anything. Got my hatchet hung on a magnet on the side there. Put some, put some uh, curtains in for privacy. They're blackout curtains, they block everything. The refrigerator has been great. This is uh, an AT50 display for the solar charge controller. It's dumping 14 amps in right now. Solar panels. Let's go take a look at the solar charge controller. Outdoor shower, that's working great. So I've been uh, boiling a lot of water with this. I've been doing all my water boiling with the electric tea kettle. That draws about 1500 watts. I've got this 1750 watt uh, inverter. Working great. And the toaster oven is about 1500 watt toaster oven too, so it handles uh, either one of them one at a time, obviously. Uh, yeah, let's uh, look at the solar panels. And my outdoor shower. So we had this. Uh, Going every night, the furnace on top, and the tank has lasted 12 days. It just ran out this morning, so we're going to head back. Some particular app would be to have a spare tank to throw on there when you run out, but uh, we ran that furnace hard all night long and late into the mornings, so it, it was a lot of a lot of juice. But I did save propane by using that. The electric tea kettle and that's a killer app. Water. I need boiling water. It's coming.
voila. Hot water. That's the two channel. It's cold and windy, it boils water really fast for coffee and whatnot. Anyway, uh, these are all my opinions and experiences. This is my trailer. I bought it myself, not sponsored by anybody. All the little usual caveats. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.